Please stand and face the flag and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, it's me. I'm a cat. I'm Wait. Whitney, and she's Paige. <laughs> and you're watching the forecast. <laughs> East U boys varsity basketball team grinded out a 62-54 victory over Egan last Friday night. Drew Giebert led the Lightning with 18 points, 11 rebounds, and 3 blocks. The Lightning are back home on Tuesday against Burnsville. The East U varsity girls basketball team defeated the Egan Wildcats 75-42. Congratulations to Coach Giebert on her 100th win. Next up is away against Burnsville tomorrow at 7 p.m. Anyone who wants to wear a Play for Patrick shirt will be admitted free. More than 260 East U students across 44 teams participated in Sunday's afternoon NHS dodgeball tournament in the East U main gym, which raised more than 3,000 for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation in Minnesota. Snoop Dodge won the award for best costume. Now we have the winners of the Jur tournament live in the studio. Hey Eastview, I'm here with the NHS Dodgeball Champions, the Incrediballs. Now tell me, how many victories did it take for you guys to bring home the championship? All of them. And if you could quantify that number, how many would it be? Seven. Great. And did you have any inspiration behind the hard-earned victory that you guys got? I'm thankful. All right. Now, the New England Patriots are in the news right now for deflating footballs to give them an advantage. Did you guys do any of that? No, we didn't. All right. Well, we might have to investigate that one. Do you guys think you'll be able to uh, get the victory next year as well? We most definitely will. And are you going to do any practice or training runs to ensure that you do? Definitely, yeah. All right. If you see these people in the hallway, be sure to congratulate them on their hard-earned victory. Back to you guys. Congratulations to the girls varsity gymnastics team for winning their quad meet on Saturday. This milestone is a big step in competing with the top teams in the state. It was a great team effort and a great day of performances. The East U girls varsity hockey team took on Egan on Saturday afternoon. They were tied 3-3 at the end of regulation with the overtime goal to Egan. Next up for the Lightning is Prior Lake tomorrow at Apple Valley Sports Center at 7 p.m. The varsity wrestling team winning half the matches against Shakopee but came up in a shot in a hard fought 32 to 34 loss. Earning wins were McDivitt, Bo Deliches. Also earning wins were Greenlee, Lindstrom, Dodd, and Schleichman. The Lightning JV wrestling team wrestled both Farmington and Shakopee last week. Alba Prouse and Gobert all won big matches. East U's next match is Friday versus Park and Henry Sibling. Are you wondering how the boys hockey team is doing? Why, sure I am. Here's a recap of their game. team won 7-2 in a South Suburban Conference game. The Lightning got scored on early, but struck back with six unanswered goals. T. Hutt had four goals, Durs had two goals, and Haji also had a goal. And Stern earned a victory with a 2-1 save performance. The next game is Henry Sibling at 7.30 in West St. Paul. All FCCLA members need to meet in C-139 tomorrow at 8 a.m. Please remember to dress business casual, bring a lunch, and bring homework to work on. Math team members, please be at the West Doors at 2.40 today for the bus to Kennedy. All ninth grade boys are invited to check out a new activity at ECU called The Fresh Men. It's a male vocal ensemble that specializes in pop and doo-wop music. If interested, show up this Thursday at 6.45 a.m. If you are interested in ECU Trap Team, they will be posting information on the registration this week on the ECU High School website. Auditions for this year's musical Hairspray will be held today and tomorrow. Sign up and pick up materials in the main office. Well, yep. Bye. Bye.